does your coach beep when you put it in gear? Does it beep at you while you're going down the road? Stick around and we'll find out why and I'll show you how to fix it. Coming right up. Hello everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at changing the parking brake switch on our 2002 Monaco coach. Mine is a Holiday Rambler Endeavor. If you have a Monaco built coach, it more than likely has this switch on it. It's the uh, parking brake switch. When you get where you're going, you put it in neutral, pull this switch up, and when you're ready to go, you push it down and put it in drive. The problem I'm having is that if you put it in park by pulling the switch up which puts the parking brake on and you have it in drive it will beep at you and what mine is doing is when I'm trying to get going and I release the parking brake the air brake and I put it in drive it starts beeping at me and I have to do this process two or three times before the the beeping will stop and some people's are even worse it'll keep beeping for a while going down the road and sometimes uh, it just continually beeps and what everybody says the problem is is the electronic switch on the bottom of the air switch and the electronic part of it um, tells it when it's in park and when it's been released and uh, lets it operate like it should. It's got a little plunger in there and a micro switch that makes and breaks and that gets worn out or stops working anyway. So I've ordered one. I'll put the link down below for the one I got. Let's uh, get started on this. Which I got is from a company called AirlineHYD.com uh, and uh, this is this is what it looks like. It comes in a little bag. You have this part right here, which screws onto the pressure switch. Has a connector on this end, and uh, that should uh, fit right in there and take care of this problem. The switch is located in the console over here beside the driver's compartment, underneath this switch right here this pull switch right here this is your emergency brake and parking brake and uh, what we'll do is take this off now as a lot of older monaco coaches my panel here has broken right across here so i don't have to take the whole thing off if yours is not broken then you'll have to take this whole panel out it's not very hard there's some screws around the edges and then the whole thing lifts out they got plenty of wire on all the switches and everything and uh, you can get to this switch then uh, we'll see what's what we need to do from there one thing I wanted to say right here before you start this process release all the air from your system um, that way you don't have any issues with safety or anything like that it will lock the parking brake and you won't have anything blowing out at you or anything like that. So uh, I'd run it down to zero and, uh, uh, and then we can go from there. Here is the back side of the switch. You can see this is the body of the pneumatic switch that you pull up and push down right here. And you have two hoses coming in that operate that. Then you have this this block right here which is a T and then this is the part right here that we're interested in and it goes down and has this plug on the back of it and uh, so what we need to do is just unscrew this this from this and then put the new one on and unplug and plug up right there and we should be good to go. Let's see what we can do about that. 
this is what it looks like taken out you can see here move this you can see it screwed right into there wasn't that difficult be sure to hold this and then you can unscrew this part just unscrew it right out and then unclip this from the plug and uh, you should be good to go I'm gonna put a little tape on our new one and then we'll put it in got the new one taped up here ready to install and uh, so it'll go right in here and then we should be about done all right we've got it installed now and uh, you see back here how this comes off you flip that little black clip up there and it unclips and we've got the new one in so I'm gonna put it back down in there and then we'll crank it up and let it come up to air and see if we can uh, get it to operate correctly I have to say this is one of the easier fixes I've done on this motor home uh, you just need a screwdriver a Phillips head screwdriver to take all the screws out of the panel plenty of wire to pull it out of the way you need two wrenches one to hold the body of the valve, one to put on the switch itself and unscrew it. Put a little tape on it, a little thread tape, and then um, put it back together. And that's all there is to it. Put the screws back in it and you're pretty much done. I'll put the link and the information below. Uh, appreciate you watching the video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up, please and hit the subscribe button. Thanks.